हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कोड वॉरियर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट यू ऑल फॉर कम्प्लीटिंग सक्सेसफुली टू डेज ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन डेज ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग एंड वी आर हियर ऑन द थर्ड डेज ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग सो इन द थर्ड डे वी आर गोइंग टू ऑल्सो लर्न डेटा मेन्यूपलेसन बट वी आर दिस टाइम गोइंग टू यूज द लाइब्रेरी पांडास लेट सी वट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस टू डेज ट्रेनिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लर्न वॉट इज पांडास then moving further we will learn what are the feature of pandas and at last we will see the code section of the pandas so let's get started with today's session uh, open your jupyter notebook guys so now let's start with first of all what is pandas as i it yes you may be aware that pandas is a python library pandas is generally used for data analysis we are using pandas when we want to analyze the data and we can, why we are using panda so much nowadays because as we have a huge amount of data data is the core of any machine learning project so we need to import that available data to our program and we can do that using pandas so different formats such, such as json csv sql or excel format can be imported using pandas and moving forward to features pandas have a bunch of features that uh, becomes really handy for the programmers or machine learning engineers so pandas have data manu manipulation feature then reading and writing data reshaping of data we can easily filter data using pandas and we can also clean data using pandas first of all the base or we can say that the basic topic in pandas is data frame so we need to know about data frame data frame is just a 2d or more than two columns when we have more than two columns in a data set or more than one column in a data set then it is known as a data frame and if we have only one column in a data set then it is known as series so this is a basic difference between series and data frame we can also say like that uh, data, data frame with one column is known as a series so so start with pandas if you have not installed it yet you can you install it using pip install pandas i had commented this line because i had already installed and to use pandas we need to import this module and i am giving it as a short name as pd because i don't want to use this pandas big name again and again instead of panda i can simply write pd so after importing first of all we need to create a data frame so that we can manipulate we need data in pandas the basic or the most important thing in pandas is data without data we can't do anything with pandas functions or attributes so we are creating here a dummy data what we, dictionary is the best format from which we can create a data frame so in dictionary we need a key and a value pair the key will be a column and the value will be a list and the, this list will be the rows of that uh, data frame let me show you by running this first of all if you are not aware with data frame let's suppose we are creating this using this dictionary so car will be the first column and this all will be the values of that column then brand will be the first second column then this all will be the sorry honda to fiat will be the uh, values of that brand similarly for cost any year let's run this part and now we are converting this dictionary to a data frame so we need to create a dictionary in this format only then only we can convert this dictionary into a data frame so for converting this dictionary into data frame we need to use pd dot data frame data frame is the method so now let's see auto here as you can see auto variable consists a data frame this is similar like a, a data set you must have seen data set excel sheets these these all are similar so as you can see in first we have indexes then we have the column names which was the key of the dictionary and each value is a different uh, row row value we can say now i hope you are clear how can you create a dummy data frame but we go, we want work in this data, dummy data frame we will import a real time data set that is the titanic data set first of all i am again importing pandas if you have not imported or you, if you have forgotten you can import again then i am taking a titanic data set i have downloaded this data set from kaggle i will provide you the link from where you can download this data set and now we are going to use head function what head function will do head function will display as the top five rows of the data set let's run this part as you can see we had got the top five rows with all the columns so suppose if you want to view top 10 rows or top 15 rows we can use argument over here we can pass the number of rows we want to see as you can see if you write 10 you will get top 10 rows 
or if you write 15 you will get top 15 rows and if you don't pass any argument and by default it will display top 5 rows so this the head method is very much used for the visualizing visualizing this data set now moving forward to info method if you want to know what is the data type of each column or how many null values are in each column then we can use this info method but before using info method i would like to run this shape method this shape method will provide us the number of rows and number of columns so we are aware now that we have 891 rows and 12 columns now we will run this info method as you can see info method has provided us the not how many rows are not null and what is the data type of each column let's suppose we choose age age is 714 non null what is the meaning of this that 714 rows are not null in the age column but what is the total number of rows uh, guys we have 891 rows what does this mean that we have 205 empty empty rows so in 205 rows age age value is missing so we can easily manipulate our data or we can know more about our data using this functions of pandas and moreover you can see the last column over here as in the last column the data type is mentioned the like passenger id is integer data type then here you can see at the summary at the last we have here in d types it is written we have two float data types five integer data type and five object you must be aware about integer and float but what is here object data type whatever textual data or categorical data we have that will be written as uh, object so there are five columns in which there is textual data so i hope you are clear till this point now if we want to see the only the name of all the columns then we can use data dot columns as you can see all the name of the columns is written over here one important thing everyone here in some functions as you can see there is uh, parenthesis and in some we don't have parenthesis what is the difference between these if we have parenthesis then it is known as the method of that class or function of that class but we don't have parenthesis that that is termed as attribute of the class so shape and columns are attributes and all these are the functions or methods of the pandas okay now moving forward if you let's suppose embark let's move to our data set you can see in embark we have categorical values like s c s uh, so if you want to know how many distinct value are there and what is the count of each distinct value then we can use dot value counts method as you can see we have three distinct value s c and q and in 645 rows we have s as a value in 169 rows we have c as a value and in 77 rows we have q as a value similar to value counts we have unique uh, method but what unique will do it will just provide us the unique categorical values for example let's suppose sex we have only two values like male and female so it will return male and female it won't return us the count it will just return us the how many distinct value are there so i will always prefer you to go for value counts instead of unique unique is not so much preferable you can always use value count which is a better option over unique now if i want to access only one column let's suppose i want to access name column or if i want to access two column name and sex both column how can we do that let's move to the part that is accessing columns if i write data the name of our data frame then in square bracket we need to write the name of the column we want to access i had written the name of column is name over here then let's run this code as you can see the indexes are already prepended over here and then we have the name all the names this is a series basically because we have only one column and if you want more than one column like name and sex we need to provide nested list like this so as you can see now we have both the value suppose if, if you want some other value let's suppose what we can take we can take p class let's suppose we we take p class let me check the case yes c is small p class okay now you can see we have three columns as output we can see the number of columns or the name of the columns whichever we want we don't want to see whole data set each and every time now i hope you are clear with this accessing columns topic it is a simple topic so guys moving forward 
now we will discuss about how we can access rows in a data set or data frame so to access rows we need to use data dot iloc method or lock method so for iloc method we are here passing the first argument is number of row or index of row and the second argument is the index of columns <clears throat> sorry so here first argument is zero which means that it will display the first row and here in column number we had not specified anything we are just using colon so colon means everything so it will displace the complete first row let's see as you can see that the first row is one zero three brown mr owen harris let's let's check this as you can see one zero three brown mr owen harris it is the same row let's suppose we want to <clears throat> see first five rows okay let's we need to see first five rows how we can do that here in rows we need to index zero colon five five is not included over here so we will see the index of zero one two three and four means first five rows as you can see we have got the complete data of first five rows now let's suppose if we want only say let's suppose gender or sex zero one two three fourth fourth index is our sex so right over here four as you can see we had access to all the gen gender of first five rows <clears throat> so guys this was the basic step of accessing rows now if you if you don't know what is the index of this and suppose <clears throat> we can use this using column name let's suppose if we write here j mm, sex s e x and if you run over here you can see <clears throat> we have got a error why because i i log does not support supports the name of the column instead we have to here put only the indexes because i log works only on indexes what is uh, here i forgot <clears throat> so i logs basically works on only indexes and if we if we want to use the name of the column then we have to use dot log method here as you can see that we can uh, use the dot lock method for if you don't know the index of columns you can also use name of columns okay so i hope you are clear with uh, this part now <clears throat> the most important topic is how we can filter our data so let's suppose now in filtering of data part we want to see only the rows which have um, gender or sex as men so we are we can do using double equal to because what it will do it will compare the value of every row with male if there will be male it will return true either false so wherever there will be a male value it will return true and either it will return false as you can, can see in the output guys <clears throat> now moving forward how can we sort uh, sort our data simply we can use sort values for this part we are sorting the values in dummy data set that i had created earlier of car so if i sort that data set according to course you can see that uh, it is in the descending order the lowest course is here then the course is increasing it is in the increasing order so you can use sort values for sorting of data now one important thing is grouping and aggregation so how we can group this data for grouping we use group by so we are guys here grouping the data using sex column so i had grouped here now if you will write mean then we will get the mean of both the male and female in each column so in passenger id here is the mean of male and female in survive similarly in each column we can see the mean of sex and sex of male and female similarly in group dot size we can see the number of uh, female labels and number of male labels we have total 577 male labels and 314 female labels similarly if you write groups of count then you can see in passenger id 314 are male 577 are female similarly 577 male survived and 344 female survived using group by you can get a good insight of the data present in your data set so guys this was a very basic understanding of pandas we will provide you blogs link or different our blog link and different resources from you can explore pandas more and more we will also provide our youtube video link we are we had conducted the whole session on pandas and guys i am providing you my linkedin profile in the description you can add me on linkedin and you can ask me anything if you want or you can mail us regarding your doubts and for day three we are we will post one 
we will post uh, one daily post on linkedin and you have to comment on that post what you had learned today and for to be eligible for completion of 21 days of ml because if you want comment on every day's post we can't provide you certificate this is a type of attendance that you are attending each session and you are learning on your own and uh, at the end of 21 days we will be providing certificate who had uh, who are eligible participants so we are also going to provide you link of our linkedin post in the description check it out until then guys keep learning see you on the next day